Hey guys, welcome to another Thursday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for Rocker Collecting by Rocker Collectors. My name is Nick, and today I'm going to talk about something that uh, I guess Ian and I talked about on, on an episode last year. It was probably last fall, I think it was. I'll put a link up above for it. It was all about uh, vinyl box sets and whether or not we really thought they were worth the, the price. And I think at the end of that video, I kind of came to the conclusion that I really depended, but I wasn't really a big fan of, of box sets. And then over the course of the last, you know, eight to 10 months, I've purchased a whole bunch of them. So today I'm going to talk about four new vinyl box sets I recently got. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click on the link down below and go check out the Vinyl Den Facebook group. You know, I know I say it every episode, just a growing community where we kind of continue the, uh, the the music conversation. Just music in general doesn't necessarily have to be vinyl related. There's some people in there that uh, don't own any records and some people in there that uh, own thousands of them. But um, go ahead and check that out. There's also a couple other links down there. There's one for the Vinyl Den uh, merch page. If you want to support the show by buying a t-shirt or sweatshirt, there's also the uh, a link for the Final Done Patreon page. If you want to support the show that way, that's also greatly appreciated. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and hit that uh, notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So the first two, I guess, kind of go together. The first one is, this is actually one that was released back in 2019, I believe it was. And, uh, you know, I kind of put it off on, on picking it up because I actually had a standard copy of this album. Uh, but I decided to pick it up uh, just recently, just within the last couple of days I got it, actually. But this is uh, Stone Tail Pilots Purple. This is a the Super Deluxe box set. Single LP, and it's got... Um, let's see if I got the sheet in here for it. So it's newly remastered, um, the, for, uh, the, uh, the album is. And then it's got uh, two CDs. Looks like it comes with... Actually, I'm sorry, it's three CDs. Because one CD has the standard album on, on a compact disc. Then there's CD2 has early versions, demos, and acoustic tracks. And then CD3 is a, a live show from 94. Like I said, Purple is definitely my favorite uh, Stone Tail Pilots album. Um, you know, the presentation, this is pretty sweet. Comes with like a little booklet inside. Uh, it's not one of the bigger super deluxe box sets you're going to see out there. I know the... Uh, the, uh, not Metallica, but the uh, Black Sabbath ones that uh, have been coming out uh, earlier this year. Definitely a, more content-wise than this one, but these are definitely generally a little cheaper. I want to say I picked this one up for like 65 bucks. So the next one is, uh, it's another Stone Toe Pilots release. This is actually the one that just came out uh, within the last couple of weeks. This is Tiny Music Songs from the Vatican Gift Shop. Um, you know, I guess, I think I've only ever listened to the first three Stone Toe Pilots albums. I have the standard version and the super deluxe version, of course. So when, when Tiny Music came out I, I, and I decided to pick that up, it kind of made sense to, to pick up Purple also. Tiny Music, you can still get this on, on uh, online. I want to say it's like 65 or 70 bucks. So it's not going to break the bank. It's not super expensive it's like some of the other super deluxe box sets out there. But um, kind of the same along, uh, along the same lines as, as the Purple release. It's newly remastered, uh, single LP, three CD set. It's got the the, the album on, on CD. CD two has a early versions and uh, um, it's early versions and demos. I think is what's on the the second CD. And then the third CD is a live show from '97, which I've I've listened to the I've listened to the LP and the live show. The live show is actually a really fantastic recording. I love the set. Um, you know, these super deluxe box sets, at least the Stone Toe Pilots versions, I think the, uh, the live shows are definitely worth the, the price for it. The next one is a box set that I never really listened to this band. Actually, I didn't even know anything about them until, I want to say it was like late last year. And this is the, uh, the box set that was just recently came out earlier this year. This is the, the three LP set by Bad Astronaut. Bad Astronaut is a band that they're a side project of Lagwagon, which if you don't know, Lagwagon was one of those pop punk bands in the late nineties. Um, you know, they had some decent songs. I never really got into them and maybe that's why I never really paid attention to anything that they had done on the side. And then, uh, I kind of stumbled across this, their, their CD in, uh, I'm sorry. I, I stumbled across their uh their music on apple music with the, oh, like i said it was probably like last fall or maybe beginning part of very beginning part of this year 
And then I missed, so this was a, a box set that was put out by Fat Records, which is uh, Fat Mike from No Effects. That's his record label. I missed the first release of this. And I didn't hop on the website until, unfortunately, they were all sold out. So I got on the kind of a waiting list for the, the next release of it, and uh, I just got this. And this thing looks absolutely fantastic. Like I said, Bad Astronaut, great band. They're not really like the, that pop punk kind of sound. Definitely more like a uh, early 2000s alternative sound. So this is actually a really good band to check out. They only made three albums, and their third album came out in 2006, and then their drummer died. And after the drummer died, the band kind of figured, you know, that was it for Bad Astronaut. And then when they released this box set earlier this year, the band uh, got back together and kind of and, and recorded two new tracks. They came out of seven inch, which I'm not going to show you the seven inch. I got that in my the box or over behind underneath my turntable with the rest of my seven inch albums. But I'm going to show you some of the albums that's inside here, or the three albums that's inside here. I've got these in uh, plastic sleeves too because they're. You know, the box set wasn't a whole lot. I want to say I paid like 75 or 80 bucks for it. And these, uh, the, the albums themselves are kind of flimsy. So I put them inside some plastic sleeves. But this is their first album. I think it's a, a Acrophobe is how you, think, how you say that. But just uh, kind of a plain, simple album cover. But the albums, like, the, the albums themselves actually look pretty sweet. I always put my album. I always take them out of the box set. You know, when, when these box sets come, they're normally in like paper sleeves. So I take them out and put them in, you know, a good anti-static sleeve. This is like a pretty sweet looking blue and white swirl. I love the, probably this is probably the best looking of the three albums. Their second album, which is Houston, We Have a Drinking Problem. It's kind of the same kind of simple album cover, which I really, I really do like the, the look of it though. Uh, this is probably my least favorite of the three albums, even though this is actually a really good album also. And uh, the first one was a single LP. This is actually a double. And the second disc doesn't look, it's a little too washed out. But the first disc actually looks pretty sweet. See how it looks on the camera here. It's like a blue, not blue, uh, it's a green with the different shades of green mixed through it. So kind of a subtle but kind of cool looking look to it. And their third album, which is uh, 12 Small Steps, One Giant Disappointment. This is actually my favorite of the three albums. And uh, I actually like this one so much. I actually bought it on CD. And that, uh, like I said, it's my favorite of the three, but it's probably my least favorite uh, looking of the three. It's just kind of a, it's also a double album also, but it's very plain, like uh, brown and white split. But, uh, so I like the, the look of the first two, but this is by far the, I think, the my favorite of the three albums. I definitely love this, uh, this three set from uh, Bad Astronaut. You know, all three of them sound absolutely fantastic. They're all done on 45 RPM, so they're going to have the best sound quality possible. The only issue I have with it is all three of them have, I don't know if you can see it or not, but a nice little seam split at the very top of each one of the three. So, you know, it's kind of a bummer, but, uh, you know, it's something I've kind of accepted now. A lot of the stuff I come, I have that's uh, shipped to me has some kind of seam split, whether it's on the sleeve or the inner sleeve, which the inner sleeve doesn't really bother me because I pull that out just as long as it didn't actually like scuff the album itself. But I normally take, I always take those out and put them in, in different uh, inner sleeves anyway. But uh, that's it. The, uh, the bad astronaut, I think what they, what are they calling this? They're calling it the universe. Yeah. Bad astronaut universe is what they're calling that. But uh, if you're able to, to grab a copy of it, it, uh, it's definitely worth it. At least go on uh, Apple Music or Spotify or whatever you, whatever you listen to music on and, and check out Bad Astronaut. It's a good band. The last box that I have is one that uh, came out 2020. And initially it was one that I decided to pass on because I already had a couple of the artist albums, at least the stuff that I really wanted to buy. I try not to be a completionist when it comes to a lot of artists because I think you tend to get over bloat your, your music collection that way. So, like I said, I passed on this one. I wanted to say when it came out, it was running about $120 or so, $115, $120 in stores. And I think I just decided to pass because of that. And over the course of the last year, I've heard more of this box set. And I found it for about $85 bucks online. And I thought, you know, it was a really good deal. I might as well scoop it up because it... You know, I, I, it's only going to go up in value, I think, at least. But this is uh, Give Me Some Truth by John Lennon. I'm a, I'm a 
pretty decent sized Beatles fan. I'm not, uh, I don't think I, I don't consider myself a huge fan, but uh, I do have all their albums, but I'm not a big fan of the solo albums from the Beatles members. With the exception of John Lennon. Yeah, I think uh, a couple of his albums are really fantastic. And I've got some of his stuff on vinyl. But uh, I don't really have any of the Paul McCartney stuff or any of the uh, George Harrison stuff. Even though I do... There are some of their albums from each one of those I do want to get. But uh, the John Lennon stuff, like I said, I figured I already had a couple of the albums I really wanted. So there really was no reason to, to shell out the money for this. And the more I kind of went over some of the stuff that's included in this, it was stuff that is on albums of his that maybe I don't, I wouldn't really buy the entire album, but I definitely love a couple of the tracks off of it. And for, like I said, for the price of this, I got it for 85 bucks shipped. So I, I thought it was a really great deal. I should say that there is a two LP version of this, which is, a, you know, obviously half of it. Cause this is a four LP set is what I ended up grabbing the two LP set. It's uh it, it's definitely half the music, I guess, cause it's only on two LPs. But, um, you know, I, I felt like the eight LP set, the two LP set is going to run you like 60, 65 bucks. So I figured for an extra 20 bucks, I'd get the other two LPs and the extra stuff that's included on the four LP set versus the two LP set. Uh, some more of my, some of my more favorite tracks are on the four LP set. So like I said, because of the price difference, you know, it was kind of a no brainer for me to grab this one. And, uh, I love the presentation in, on this. It's, uh. There's the, the front cover, back cover. It's got all the track listings on there. And it. Uh, I did the same thing for this box set that I did with the uh, the Bad Astronaut one. I pulled this out, the two, I pulled out the uh, two covers and, and put them in separate sleeves. If I can get the other one out of the box here. <laughs> it's kind of being stubborn. I guess I'll show you some of the other stuff that's included in this. Because it's not just, it's not just the LPs. There's a uh, Give Me Some Truth sticker on there, which I thought about sticking on my box here. Maybe I'll stick it on the side. I don't know if it'll fit, though. Um, it comes with a really nice uh, booklet. Bunch of, bunch of pictures and stuff on in here. You know, it's not, uh, it's not super detailed, but it's pretty cool to kind of flip through. Comes with a couple of postcards. And then it comes with a uh, big John Lennon poster. So that was kind of cool to... Little added touches, like I said, it's not uh, it wasn't a super expensive box set, but uh, I love the difference in the two covers. If I can get them both side by side here, because the first one has the is a gold cover, and the second one is a, a silver cover. So that was kind of cool. And it uh, I it was the same issue. I had seam splits with this, just like I did with the bad astronaut set, but this ended up being I don't think there was any on the sleeve. They were on the inner sleeves on. Both of these uh, albums were, were split. So that was kind of a bummer, but like I said, I replaced those inner sleeves anyway, so it's not a big deal. I, uh, I just stuck them back inside. And these are just on standard black. There is a Target exclusive, I think, of the 2LP set. And I think it's on... I'm not sure what color it is, but there's a colored version out there of the 2LP set. Uh, it got a lot of bad reviews online, though, for the way it sounded. So this one... I've listened to all this. I tortured my wife with it earlier. So I've, uh, she's, I shouldn't say torture. She does love a lot of the music on here also, but, uh, it's a lot of music to listen to in one setting. So, but this thing sounds absolutely fantastic. And I love the tracks that they picked for this, you know, just kind of, a. I, I know I've said it before on, on episodes of the vinyl den and, and in our Facebook group, I'm not a huge fan of greatest hits collections. But a lot of them out there, I'm noticing, like this one, the Guns N' Roses one that, that uh, came out, what was it, last year, beginning part of this year. A lot of those are just, like, great collections of the music. And I think that this is one that really, is, it perfectly encapsulates John Lennon's career. Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these box sets. Or even if you're a, a fan of box sets, at, really, at all. I know... I think the Black Sabbath Super Deluxe box sets have kind of gotten some people a little bit more interested in what's included. Um, you know, I think those Super Deluxe box sets are pretty sweet because they're like album specific. It's not really like a, a greatest hits collection or like an anthology collection like the, the Bad Astronaut 
uh, set is. So, I don't know. I'm definitely getting more interested in a lot of these box sets. I know I've got the, uh, I've got actually two copies of the MXPX box set on order. Just recently received my shipping notice, but uh, they said they're not shipping out till the end of the month. So, we'll see. I definitely plan on either doing a, a live stream or at least a YouTube video when I get those because definitely I'm a, I'm a big MXPX fan. So, it's definitely a box set I'm really interested in and really excited for. But like I said, it's just uh, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you come back and check out the show on Sunday. Well, that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace.